Welcome to Branch Out Guitar. I'm John Branch. We are here at Austin Vintage Guitars in Austin, Texas. Probably my favorite guitar shop in all the world, and luckily it's here in my hometown of Austin, Texas. We're here just trying out some guitars, and I wanted to give you all a little bit of insight on how to pick out your first guitar. So I've got a couple here that I'm just going to explain what you need to look for when you're trying to buy that first guitar. So what we have here is we have a Fender Stratocaster Squire model. And really the first thing I think most people are concerned with when they are looking and buying their first guitar is budget, right? A lot of people approach me and they say, well, I can get a guitar at the pawn shop for maybe 30, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, something that's used like that, and I can just get there and start plinking around on it. But really, if you invest a little bit more, you're gonna get more out of your experience when you're first starting to play. If you get one of those cheap guitars, it's going to be exactly that. It's going to be very cheap, it's not going to be inspiring, and you're not going to practice, and you're not going to actually get anywhere on the guitar. So with a guitar like this, which starts maybe around $125, $130, and moving up in their models to maybe $250, or so you can get a much more higher quality guitar. I'm going to show you what to look for. So the first thing is to hold the guitar, even if you don't know how to play it, just put it in your hands, put it up on your body, and just make sure that it feels comfortable. The next thing is put your left hand around the neck and feel the size of the neck. There's lots of different sizes and shapes. You know, there are a lot, uh, several guitars are gonna have a much slimmer, more tapered neck. Some are having a big, thicker, chunkier, almost like baseball kind of bat neck, depending on your hand size, depending on your taste. Once you feel one that feels kind of nice, well, it's time to plug it in and start, you know, plinking around on it. Even if you don't know how to do anything, you can still get a feel for the guitar and what you're going to play with as you start learning how to play guitar. The most important thing I think that you really want to pay attention to is the action. Now, the action is the height of the string in relation to the guitar neck. And you can get this set up differently, but it's good to go ahead and pick a guitar that already has an action that you really like. Now, again, the action is going from this string all the way down to the top of the guitar neck. Now, the higher the action, the more difficult it is to play. The lower the action, the easier it is to play because you're not having to strain so hard to hold the guitar, uh, pardon me, hold the string down to the guitar neck. The lower the action, uh, the less tone that you get, the less sustain that you get, the higher the action, the more sustain, more tone that you get. Usually not such a consideration when you're first starting to play guitar, but uh, as you improve, you know, something that you want to pay attention to. This guitar has what's called single coil pickups, these here. These have definitely a distinct kind of punchier, brighter, sound. Um, if I play a C chord, usually pretty clean, uh, pretty airy kind of sounding. And you can switch between these pickups here with uh, via the toggle switch here. Um, and these are all going to get their own distinct sounds. If you go into the next position, this is position five, you go to position four, you're going to get between these two. It's a little different sound, a little different tone. The middle here, as you go this direction with the toggle switch, it's going to get brighter. And then it's going to be these two pickups. You can already hear the tone change there. And then all the way over here is going to be the brightest and the bridge pickup. This would be the bridge, the middle, and the neck pickup. The other thing that you get with this guitar, and this is available on you know, several different models of guitars as well in general, is the whammy bar. The next one that I'm going to show you doesn't have this, but the whammy bar allows you to depress the the tone of the string, the tuning of the string, so that you get more vibrato effects. You could do it very subtly, like if, again, if I'm playing the same C chord. I'm just pushing the whammy bar down, and then getting that effect. I could do really deep. Uh, you might have to pay attention to the tuning as you use this. Sometimes you'll have, uh, it'll go out of tune if you do it too much, so you don't need to get carried away. There's other types of uh, whammy bar systems as well, but in general, that's what this will do here. So it's something to look for if you play music that has that kind of style. So here's another type of guitar. This is an Epiphone Les Paul model. Epiphone is a subsidiary of Gibson guitars, you know, so this is the, kind of their more entry level type of guitar. Um, this is a little bit different than the Squire Strat that we were just playing on really only in a couple different ways. This has a different set of pickups. This has humbucking pickups as opposed to single coil pickups. Now the humbucking pickups were designed exactly to do that. They put two single coils together out of phase so that they actually cancel each other out so that you don't get a lot of noise. Um, but the result also is you're getting a lot fatter, deeper sound. So if I play that same C chord that I was playing on the Squire, it's going to be a lot warmer tone. You still have the same toggle switch where you can go between the neck and the bridge pickup. Now there's only two here, not three. So you have the neck, the bridge, and then you can also have the in between, uh, in between the two pickups here. So that also is going to get you a different tone. But 
generally with the humpbucking pick is always going to be on the darker, warmer side. So as I go over to the bridge, the same thing, you're getting a brighter sound. But again, with this guitar, you're not going to have a whammy bar, so you don't have that. Uh, you don't have that option here. But depending on your preference, depending on the style of music that you like to play, then you know this might be the guitar that you're going for. In a variety of different styles, but definitely in hard rock or metal, you'll see people playing humbucking style guitars. They're really thick. They're really kind of heavier sounds. You know, Led Zeppelin, um, anything you know coming from that that side of things. Uh, Strat, you also see the same thing. Hendrix was a Strat player. Uh, Clapton's gone back and forth between humbuckers and then uh, moved later into Strats and uh, you know the latter part of his career. So it really just kind of depends on what you like and depends on you going to a store and just kind of experimenting with that. So the thing that you really, again, to review, that you really want to lo look for when you're looking for your first guitar is, yes, budget. If you can spend $125 to $250, depending on what, uh, what you've got, um, you can really get a nice quality guitar and you're looking for you know, just the feel of it. Does it feel good in your lap? You know, does it feel good up against your body? Does the neck feel good here in your left hand? You know, do you need a thicker neck? Do you need a thinner neck? Then you're looking again for the action, you know, the height of the string here. Um, you can get it set up differently, but it's good to just kind of get a medium action where it doesn't feel too hard to press it down. And then depending on your taste, whether you want humbucking or single coil pickups, and whether you want a whammy bar, and pretty much you're going to be set after that. Obviously, you could go spend tons more money as you improve and kind of get into the subtle, more subtle nuances of guitars. But this is a really, really, really good place to start. Thanks so much for checking out Branch Out Guitar. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and comment and share below. And you can also check out branchoutguitar.com. We want to thank Austin Vintage Guitars for letting us hang out here in their store. It's a wonderful place. You need to check them out if you're in the Austin area or if you're just online. We'll see you next time.